hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for tuning in if you are new please remember to click the subscribe button down below like comment and share with all your friends for today i have a very interesting video lined up i am going to be preparing a dinner a balanced meal with only 500 jamaican dollars that's right only 500 dollars people and if you are a jamaican you know that 500 dollars is not a lot of money out here and if you have a family you know that cannot get you dinner for all your family members so it's going to be tricky so i'm going to show you the ingredients that i got with 500 dollars and what i did with them stay tuned okay guys so here i have my ingredients i have chicken nuggets my spaghetti my cheddar cheese and some vegetables and also my other seasonings i will be using first i need to add some water to the pot yeah and i'm going to put that on the stove for it to boil so i'm opening my spaghetti right now to add to the pot but just before i add it to the pot i need to put some salt for taste and then i'm going to leave the water to boil just before i add my spaghetti Ooh, steamy so now it's boiling i'm going to put the spaghetti in there i won't break them i'll just leave them to get soft and then i will push them down here I am adding some oil because I don't want them to stick together. Now I'm, want, I'm going to prepare my chicken nuggets. I'm going to fry them. I'm going to fry all five so I'm heating my oil in my pan. Check on my spaghetti real quick. It's getting there. And I'm going to put my nuggets inside the hot pan. Ooh, nearly burnt myself. Alright, so I'm adding all of them. These are going to be done really fast. This is very hot. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and clean up my seasonings. I have garlic here, pimento, and scotch bonnet pepper. Why is my cutting board moving? I don't know. Alright. Let me just turn these nuggets because they're frying really fast. Alright. Perfect. So now my spaghetti is almost done. I don't want them too hard. I don't want them soggy either. So I'm going to leave them for hmm, just a minute more. I'm going to turn on the heat. Now I'm going to chop my garlic my pepper and my pimento that i'm going to be using for the sauce i want these very very fine so you don't want to bite into a chunk of garlic while you're eating your spaghetti so i'm trying to chop and crush at the same time That's very, very fine. I 
I can't use all this scotch bonnet because they're very, very hot. So I'm just going to use a piece. The pimento has to be fine too. Nothing I hate more than eating a plate of food and biting into a whole pimento. That's too much flavor for one bite. To chop this really, really fine. While I'm trying to keep my giddy headed cutting board stable. Alright, so my nuggets are done, so I'm going to take them out of the pan. There they are, looking sexy. Golden brown. My spaghetti is also done, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drain that off as well. Now I'm going to prepare my sauce. Adding in my seasonings that I just cut up, and I'm gonna give that a little stir, add some thyme, seasoning, give it a stir, let those flavors ooze out and then I'm going to add in my tomato juice I'm gonna let that sizzle and I'm going to leave it and go ahead and shred my cheddar cheese Look at my cute little grater. It's a turtle, y'all. I'm going to leave that little piece to put on the top when I'm done. Let's add this to the sauce and let it melt in. I'm going to give it a good stir and you're going to see it change color and it's going to look so cheesy. Let me leave that to simmer. Ooh, see that looking so nice. I'm now going to put in the spaghetti and give it a nice stir. There I am adding the spaghetti. It smells so good. I wish you could smell it. beautiful so let me go ahead now and prepare these vegetables these are frozen the best I could get with $500 okay and it's a mixture so that's a good thing as well it has broccoli cauliflower and carrots I'm going to pull them apart And what I'm going to do with these I want just enough but not too much I'm going to slice them 
into more bite-sized pieces. The good thing about it is even though they're frozen, they're still looking bright and vibrant. I could tell these are crunchy. Okay. I'm going to braise them so in this pot I'm going to be putting in a little bit of oil add some seasoning and some thyme and then I'm going to put some butter and melt that down after it's melted I'm going to toss the veggies in bring them to a beautiful veggie stir fry Add a little bit more butter to give those veggies a glossy look. I'm going to leave it now to fry and I'm going to go and slice up my chicken nuggets. Okay, so this is a better cutting board. It's not moving. But I had to use this one because I used the other one for the raw ingredients. So I put the cooked ingredients on this one right here. No cross contamination, guys. I'm going to go back and give those vegetables another fry, another stir, 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 stir. They're almost done. Ooh, beautiful. So my veggies are now done, and here is the beautiful plate I put together out of all my ingredients. And this came from 500 Jamaican dollars. I'm now sprinkling on my cheese. And the heat of the food will allow that to melt. So there you have it guys. A beautiful and delicious plate 